YouTube, Andy with you with a, another cycling uh, slash dog walk or dog run drone flying video. So today we are at a really nice place on the other side of town. This is in West Swindon, uh, a place called Lydiard Park. I've not been here before cycling or, or flying my drone, so this is pretty much a, a new experience for myself. I've got a new addition um, with my cameras. I've now got hold of a DJI Mini 3 drone. So we shall be putting that one through its paces um, a bit later. But in the meantime, let's get on with it. Okay. Okay, right, here we go then, guys. Um, uh, trip into Lydiard Park. Um, it's quite an established um, little woodland, this one. I, I don't know how long it's been around, but it's been around for quite a number of years. Oh, there's a few people about this morning. 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 So. Yeah, I've not been around here for quite a quite a while. I mean, probably best part of maybe ten years or so. It's a lovely spot, isn't it? Well, yeah, okay. Let's just pop down here, shall we? Have a little wander down here for a moment, see where it goes. There's so many little pathways around this particular park. Um, a little network, if you like, of little pathways and places of interest. I just like to get on my bike and discover. I can't walk very well at the moment uh, because of my whole plantar fasciitis thing going on, uh, which is causing me a bit of a problem at certain times of the day, especially in the mornings. Um, but uh, something which I'm kind of just living with at the moment and managing it. But I think I'm doing okay with it. Right, I think I'm going to go right. Yeah, let's go right here, I think. So you can go down that way. Once again, another little pathway there. Oh, this is good exercise, you know. If I can't walk, I can certainly ride. It's got less impact on your legs and, and your feet. Anyway, what a wonderful place, eh? What a wonderful place to cycle on your bike on a Saturday morning. Um, let's go this way. There we go. Beautiful colours. Really nice. 
got a wonderful house over to the right hand side we'll just go and take a quick look at that shall we Lost me? I don't know. Okay. <sighs> Drone is amazing, I tell you. It's just keeping up with me every step of the way. It really is just a great asset to my little video making. It really has, I think, taken it to a new level, but looking at my views, <laughs> absolutely not. Right, that's Lydiard House. There's a bit of history about it. I'll stick it down in the description, guys. Otherwise, I'll just make a complete mess of it. Um, you can see it's a really, really lovely old house, old place. Um, I think it's now been given over to Swindon Borough Council. You know, so they can... Uh, I think they hold conferences and different things in there. Right, here's some information about Lydia Park Museum and Gardens. Lydia Park is a beautiful historic estate on the western edge of Swindon with the Palladian House, Church and Walled Garden. It is set in 260 acres of parkland. The children's play area, cafe and tea room the educational programs make Lydia Park a great destination for a family day out. There is a wealth of history waiting to be discovered as you tour round the state rooms of Lydia House. Celebrated for its ornate plasterwork, original furnishings and family portraits dating back to Elizabethan times. Next door is St Mary's Church, holds further monuments to the St John family. The Georgian ornamental fruit and flower walled garden has been faithfully restored with stunning displays of flowers, fruit trees and topiary. And in the park there is more evidence of this once great country estate. Included is a castelled down wall, ice house and its grand avenues. Dogs are allowed in the grounds and the park is a lovely destination for a walk, a run or even a bike ride. There are barbecues available to hire in the summer, lots of picnic spots and other park facilities. Lydia Park runs events all year round, including open air theatre, live music, the Lunar Cinema and more. Lydia Park is also a venue for many high profile events, including the Royal British Legion's Royal Wooden Bassett Field of Remembrance and Cancer Research UK's Race for Life. Lydia Park was purchased by the Swindon Corporation in 1943 and today it continues to be owned and managed by Swindon Borough Council. Right, so I was kind of hoping to fly my little Neo drone uh, in the woods today. There's some really lovely woods over there to the left hand side I just saw my friend Linda Jessen so if you're if you're watching Linda uh, hi sorry I didn't get you on camera but um, enjoy your run I hope you had a great run by the way but it's uh, it's ever so busy so I'm going to um, take a slightly different route back but anyway I was hoping to fly my drone uh, in the woodland over to the left hand side there but as I was going past it I saw that it said private property keep out and there was a load of fencing there as well and I was thinking if I stick my drone over there and it comes down then one I might not get it back again and two I'm actually on private property so I'm probably going to give that one a miss but I shall go out again hopefully maybe tomorrow perhaps Monday I'm not sure yet but anyway I've got to take a bit of a a ride back now uh, over to my car which is about a mile in that direction so uh I can enjoy my nice little ride with my doggies and I'm sure they're going to enjoy their run as well. Anyway guys, just want to say thanks for watching, take care, bye for now and I'll see you on the next one. Morning.
Don't mind the drones, okay? Don't mind the drones. <laughs> oh, it does automatically, it's all AI. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 